so if, if you don't have the installation code then of course um, we can just search on Google from their website here or I can just probably um, copy this link and put it in the description once you click that link it it will redirect you to their installation documentation page so here let's see the requirements so the requirements is for us to um, whitelist these domains So to do that, we want to go through, we want to go to our um, WHM. So I am using Bitvice SSH. Um, if you're not familiar with this, uh, I suggest you go through the course here, um, the Make Money with Websites course in my channel and go through the course i believe i've stated how to to use bit bitvice here i think it's here installing cpanel or maybe here um by cheap vps so i think i've i've um provided a little bit of information how you can you can set it up how you can use it so once you're um, logged into your server via SSH let's run the installation here so let's first run this and if it um, returns an error then I believe there, sh there will be an error display for all the um, required settings we need to do so here we have a site error for I I'm not sure how we can pronounce this actually um, Ion cube PHP loader needs to be installed this is widely whatsoever please visit so um, this is actually simple um, let's go to our WHM and then um, just search for the tweak settings once the tweak is there let's find here ion cube so as you can see um, cPanel already has it built in for us we only need to um, enable it by checking it out and then save so for this um, let's let's try to install once again and run it should it should now work or else if it still returns an error then we can move forward to the um, whitelisting white of the the IPs and the domains congratulations so as you can see there's really no issue this um, method here is not applicable if you're using um, if you're not using CSF so since since um, my recommendation is to use CSF the reason being as well is that I find it really easy to use CSF when it comes to blocking I mean it, when it comes to um, whitelisting and 
and ignoring this domains or so so what what I do is to is since you since if you're following along in this um, series I assume you already have installed the config server security and firewall so let's go ahead and go through go to the um, dashboard and RWHM and then just scroll down and find the firewall allow IPs so just scroll down and then um, so below this um, below this softaculus if you if you already have it um, whitelisted which you should already have because we already installed Softaculous in the past videos and this is also a requirement to add it or to whitelist it in our firewall so um, let's check or copy the what was that where is that um, this what do you call this um ip so let's just copy this in our um note here wait a bit and then this as well to to whitelist it and then just add here um site pad so that we can um, remember if this is if this is from sitepad ip and then just change hit change and then restart but we're not done yet we will have to um, ignore this domains as well here and this as well so we want to allow check it out if we can so we've already done this the IPs and then let's check here how do we allow um, the domains so what I do is I just go to the ignore and add it here prior this um, section here so um, let's go here add here so I keep on forgetting this and this and then also the side pad and the softaculus so just hit change and then restart LFD So I believe that's all we need to do and then um, you can you can read through other stuff here which is I don't really 
use with my own server I just leave it um, default um, based on cPanel's default settings especially the branding if you want to rebrand it on your um, based on your company then it, it's up to you but I don't really do that I just let um, the sitepad brand to market itself to my users so I don't really set up anything else than what I showed you um, in this video for the cPanel management we will be um, looking at it further after we have set up all of the administration administrators um, tutorials which is this one I think wait I think for this up to here so I believe we are done with the site pad so we're done with here and then for the next one we will be looking at cloud Linux how to set it up and what is the benefit of using cloud Linux or so and then next is I think probably just add as well the engine X and I want to also discuss the light speed the problem is I don't really I don't I haven't yet used light, light speed so in cPanel so I'll probably just um, skip that one but maybe in the later time we will we will I will do a tutorial about this um, when I already have tested it I'm planning to act to to use this um, plugin as well for C panel so we'll pro because there's a lot of um, good thoughts about it from other providers so yeah so this and after one two three four so after this then we can start on managing the users after that here so yes um, what else yeah so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and see you next time take care